Let's take a quick peek at our top four tax strategies using the new First Home Savings account. Tax strategy tip number one. Since you can transfer funds from an FHSA to an RSP or RIF without affecting your RSP limit, an FHSA may be beneficial for those who own a rental property that is not your primary place of residence. With an FHSA, you may still qualify as a first-time homebuyer and accumulate funds on a tax-deferred basis. And you can still transfer the funds to an RSP or RIF if you do not eventually buy a qualifying home. Tax strategy tip number two. While spousal contributions and deduction claims are not allowed, there is an opportunity for spouses and common law partners to work together to maximize the FHSA. The government made an exception to the attribution rules, which means you can lend a spouse or partner money for an FHSA without having to take on the tax burden of any income earned in the account, as would normally happen with a spousal transfer of assets. Tax strategy tip number three. You can transfer funds from an RSP to an FHSA tax-free, up to the 40,000 lifetime and 8,000 annual contribution limits. However, an important note is that these transfers would not restore your RSP contribution room or generate a tax deduction. The good news is, after the transfer from your RSP to an FHSA, a qualifying withdrawal from the FHSA would be tax-free, essentially making it a tax-free RSP withdrawal. Tax strategy tip number four. The Homebuyers Plan, or HBP, allows first-time homebuyers to withdraw up to $35,000 from their RSP to purchase or build a home without having to pay tax on the withdrawal. Since the HBP continues to be available under existing rules, you can leverage both the HBP and FHSA programs for the same qualifying home purchase. Withdrawals under both plans can be made tax-free, but since the HBP requires repayment within 15 years of withdrawal, we recommend maximizing your FHSA contribution room and then, if savings are available, making a contribution to your RSP so you use the HBP. If you have any questions about what assistance you may qualify for as a first-time homebuyer, get in touch.